miles per hour. With Omaha's most accurate weather team, I'm 6 News meteorologist Brad Sugden on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Schrock Innovations presents Nebraska's number one independent computer repair company with offices in Omaha and Lincoln. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, and Papillion, where uh, things are getting a little bit interesting. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance because... See, I'm going on vacation with the whole family uh, over Thanksgiving, and you see, Christmas decorations usually go up around that time. But because myself, and more importantly, the lovely Kimberly will be out of town that week, we're going to start putting up Christmas decorations like next week, okay? <laughs> so we're going to, I guarantee you, every shop's going to have somebody come in and mumble something about, mer, mer, Christmas is earlier every year. Eh, what about Thanksgiving? What about Halloween? What about Easter? You know, <laughs> and um, it's a logistics thing, guys. So if it makes you feel better, uh, Schrock Innovations will be putting up the winter tree soon. Okay. And then after Thanksgiving, we'll put a star on top and then it transforms into a Christmas tree. 866-496-8772. Those are the numbers to join us on the program today. Ask a question or make a comment, and we'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. We got some fun stuff to go over today. You know, one of the funny things about, uh, I don't know, corporate culture uh, <laughs> is that you, you can't really control it. It's one of those things, those amorphous things in a company. You can't control your corporate culture, and sometimes – you're happy about the stuff that it produces, and sometimes you're a little disappointed with the stuff that it produces, and then there's those times where you just have to shake your head and laugh at what it produces. So uh, basically what I'm going to do here is I think I can do this. I'm going to try to uh, slap – one of my employees made an image <laughs> to represent his feelings of the 2017 holiday special over at Schrock. And this particular image may not be politically correct, <clears throat> um, but we've all could probably experience uh, or have seen something like this at some point in the past. I'm trying to add it, but apparently I can't actually make a comment where I add a picture to a live stream broadcast. Is this like a problem with Facebook? Why can't I do this? All right. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll add it after the, after the program here as well. But uh, nevertheless, 866-496-8772, those are the numbers to join us on the program. And as you may have uh, mentioned or you may have heard me mention, uh, we are live on Facebook right now, facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Uh, lots of people are joining on there. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Roger and Marianne. Mary Ann, we're glad to have you here this morning. Uh, good morning from my home, says Mary Ann. Usually I listen from work. This is so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you could be with us today. All right, so we got some fun stuff. Um, the Black Friday ads are starting to hit the uh, the the presses, uh, the digital presses, if you will. Remember, like when the Black Friday ads were super secret. Like when I was a kid, Black Friday ads were super secret. And then one time, somebody somewhere was either a marketing genius or just a really shady character. I'm not sure which, and they leaked somebody's Black Friday ads. Like it was an actual leak maybe, or maybe it was just like the most brilliant marketing ploy ever. And everyone looked at them because like, oh, they leaked them. And it was the only one you could look at. So everybody looked at it. And then all the other retailers got together and said, oh, shoot, why did we think of that? So now everybody was, everybody started leaking. There was like the Black Friday websites that popped up where you could get all the leaked ads that were just submitted by the companies. Um, and now they've stopped any pretense of, of leaking or it's just, here's the Black Friday ads. Uh, in fact, you could buy them starting November 3rd. You know, <laughs> so it's it's Black Friday, but not on a Friday. Um, so we've got some Black Friday tech to talk to you about today. Um, we had a customer who actually emailed us about uh, Costco uh, and their Black Friday special. Uh, they have a couple Dell computers on special, and he said, "Wow, you know, these are a little pricier than the holiday special, but uh, they're." He, he's, he emailed it to me because he thought it was a misprint when they printed sixty-four gigabytes of RAM in a desktop computer. Uh, so we're going to talk about. Technology has moved quite a bit, guys, from where 
uh, where it was. And it used to be that software was pushing the boundaries of hardware. It used to be you had to buy a new computer because there was a new version of Windows coming out. And some of you had to do that for Windows 10 still. Um, and when you got your new computers, you said, wow, they're a lot lighter. Wow, they feel a little more plasticky than they used to because, you know, you hadn't bought a computer since, you know, 2012, 2006. Um, the world's changed a little bit in the construction of the computers and the technology of the computers, the newer ones especially, is absolutely fantastic uh, as far as the capabilities and what it can do. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. We're going to go over uh, Costco's Black Friday ad as well as Dell's. And I'm going to give – I'm going to share – because you see, here's the thing. This year, we are starting off the holiday special laptop with a Dell unibody instead of the Asus ROG unibody. Good morning, Pete from Maryland. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. We appreciate having you. And the the Dell Unibody, you might get the impression because we had a lot of negotiations with Dell. They gave us a nice credit line. They really went out of their way to to make this easy for us and to give us a product that would dramatically compete. With that said, I'm not a Dell fanboy. You know, I'm, I, if they put out something that's not good, I'm going to call them on it. And so we're going to take a look at their Black Friday ads. And I'm going to show you one that looks absolutely phenomenal, but. Uh, might not quite get the job done. Uh, in the meantime, your calls and questions, 866-496-8772. If you have one of our holiday special demo units, I would love to have you take the opportunity to call into the program, 866-496-8772, and give us your first impressions of what you think of it. Um, that's really helpful for our, for our listeners who are listening who are thinking about purchasing because it's one thing to hear me talk about it, and you can hear that I get excited about it, obviously, and it's – it's because this year's tech is so new and so different that we're going from – this is the first time since about 2001 that we are going to have a dramatic change in technology this year, um, a dramatic change in technology that's going to leave software in the dust. The, the hardware that's out there right now could would make running Windows 7 look like a joke, uh, let alone Windows 10 is like an afterthought. Um, Adobe Photoshop is, is putting out the, the most complex software they can possibly imagine – and it doesn't even push the boundaries. Now, all this good stuff going on, one of the things that I do is I, when we make a mistake at Schrock, I own it. And, and I own it up front. I do everything I can do to make it right. And we made the biggest mistake this year that we've made in 19 years of business. The single largest mistake ever. And we've made some doozies. I mean, there was the ambulance, guys. We bought an ambulance one time. That's a whole story for another show. But you, you may know that if you're a longtime listener. I mean, we're talking this was worse than the ambulance. Um, and it directly impacted a customer. So we're going to talk about that in the program as well. But uh, in the meantime, 866-496-8772. We do have a lot of great articles today on the program as well. Um, if you have not done your Windows 10 upgrade yet, if you follow us on Facebook, you may have seen this already. Uh, Microsoft very quietly changed uh, some some terms of service on one of their websites about Windows 10's free upgrade where it said, you know, we'll announce this at a later date when it's going to go bye-bye. Now that later date is on the page, and it's December 31st. So we're going to tell you if you haven't done Windows 10 what you need to do to get that going. Um, first impressions of the iPhone X, if you drove through uh, one of the, uh, the like, I don't know, Village Point or anywhere else in your, your local communities where you have uh, an Apple store, you may have seen a, a line of varying degrees of sizes um, outside the store trying to get an iPhone X. So uh, what is the iPhone X? What's nice about it? What's crazy about it? And, uh, you know, are you going to buy the $1,000 smartphone? We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, next up, we've talked about this before, and it's getting worse. Uh, Google search results are poisoned by banking Trojan attackers' clever SEO. All right, so there's a lot of weird stuff. There's a lot of complex computer words in there, uh, like poisoned <laughs> and Trojan attackers' SEO. All right, so basically we're going to tell you what you need to be careful of when you're doing Google searches uh, and why it's important that you have good antivirus software. I've had some people actually in the service center to comment to me Thor, I don't do that much with it. I just, you know, pay some bills online and stuff. I'm not, like, cruising around the Internet. I don't think I need antivirus anymore. Uh, and that, that set me back a little bit. And I want to make sure that I cover this on the program so that there's no misnomers about the need for antivirus for casual computer users. Uh, Amazon is gaining in the tablet market. Yeah, that's right, the tablet market. So the headline reads, Amazon gains share in declining tablet market. Apple's iPad is still number one. But... By how much? It's going to shock you to find out how many other tablet choices there are out there other than iPad, 
and actually in the overall market of tablets, how few people actually choose iPads. Um, and then, of course, there is the other part of this headline, the declining tablet market. We're going to talk about that a little bit as well. Um, and then, like I said, we have Costco and Dell's Black Friday ads. So we got a packed show, guys. Lots of stuff going on. And I'm looking for your calls. In fact, in the morning, in the start of the program, I have had I had a person in the Lincoln Service Center tell me, Thor, I don't call in at the start of the show because I don't want to be on hold for a half an hour while you talk. And I tell him, well, I talk for the first half of the show because I don't have any callers. And then sure enough, every week, with like 10 minutes to go in the program, we have a full bank of phones and the phones are all lit up and everyone's like, oh, I want to talk to Thor now. You can call early in the show, and I will stop talking to take your calls, okay? That's what I'm going to do right now for Cecilia. Welcome to the program, Cecilia. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you uncompute this today? Yes, good morning. Uh, your people are always so great when I come in. Thank you. And uh, we, I had quite the complications with Windows 10. Uh-oh. Uh, when they uh, came in, I, you know, I bought your package but before that they had uh, they had tried i think getting in they kept saying security measures need to be installed and you uh, before the update and it would never do it so long story short uh i brought picked up my computer from you guys yesterday and uh you ran it and then all of a sudden um it says uh i it wasn't connected connected to my home router and now uh, it tells me my PC will not power off because I went to do a restart, and it says it's missing a file. It won't turn off because it's missing a file? Application on operating system couldn't be loaded. Required file is missing or contains errors. And then it gives me the name of the file and an error code. Interesting. Okay, and you, you said that you just had it recently into the service center, right? Right. I brought it in so they, they had to wipe it clean. Okay, so uh, we did we did the creators update for you. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Well, good news, bad news scenario here. Bad news is is you're having an, a file missing issue, which is really awkward and weird. We test the hard drive and everything when we do that update. So the odds of you having bad hardware, I mean, it's possible, but it's really, really unlikely. Um, so a missing file is genuinely an odd thing. I don't think I've ever seen that since like Windows ninety eight. That was one of the big things with Windows XP came out. It was like, oh, they have redundant copies of the operating system files, so now you're not going to have all these crazy problems where your your stuff just goes unresponsive. So that was that was pretty amazing back in the day. But this kind of stuff would always happen with, like, Windows 98 and Windows Millennium. So to have it happen on Windows 10 is truly a little bit different. Um, so basically... The, uh, the thing I would suggest we do is, first of all, you can force shut down the computer. You don't want to do it too often, but you can do it in times when you need to. So to force shut down the computer, you just push and hold the power button. You press it, you hold okay. it, and then it'll turn off the computer. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and turn the computer back on again. Now, the reason that we can do this so easily here is, you know, number one, if something goes wrong, you have a warranty, number one. You know, we did the work for you. You have a 30-day warranty on the work that we did. Number two... If you um, if it works, well, then that's great, right? It could just be a glitch. And like I said, because Windows has redundant copies of its operating system files, so if there is actually a file missing, we can repair that file or replace that file by restarting the computer. So let's go ahead and try that first. And if that doesn't work, the next thing is that we can try to help you out over a Shrock desk. We try not to make you bring the computer back in if you if we can help it. You know, we, yeah, I'm 55 miles away. Yeah, your time is valuable and your, your fuel is valuable. A lot of people have said in the past, we, you don't think our fuel is valuable. It's like we introduced a, a multi-thousand dollar system to prevent you from having to drive in if we can possibly do it. Now, there's some things that we can't fix. The computer has to be on the Internet for us to do a Shrock desk. So if it's having connection problems, that might not be possible. But let's restart it first, let it replace all of its files, and see what goes from there. And then, Cecilia, if it still has issues, give us a call in the service center. We can try to do a Shrock desk for you. We're there uh, Saturday from 10 in the morning till 8 in the evening and Sunday from noon to 5. Um, but right. we can go ahead and try to, uh, to get that. And we're, you know, we're there Monday through Friday, too, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weekend radio show, so you know we figure you're going to be talking on the weekend. Um, but right, uh, yeah. but basically, get it into us if we can't do it over the Shrock desk. One way or the other, we'll get it resolved. I'm sorry you're having the trouble with it, but Windows 10 should be able to take care of this itself. Okay. Well, you, your staff is always great, so I appreciate it. Thank awesome. you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. 
All righty, 866-496-8772. You see, guys, it's that easy. You can pop in and, uh, just like Cecilia did, get in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Good for anything your heart desires over at the service center. You can use it toward a holiday special. You can use it toward a, an endpoint renewal or a secure update or renewal if you want to. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do over at Schrock with that money if you want to give us a call and have a shot at earning that certificate. All right, we're seeing on Facebook, some people are reporting a little bit of video lag. Uh, we are on a wireless connection in the studio today, so um, there could be some video lag issues because of that. I apologize if that's the case. Hopefully the audio is uh, is doable as well. You know, we do everything we can to make it uh, as good as possible. Um, da -da -da, you know, encoding overloaded. Yeah, so uh, we are having some video glitch issues. It's not your iPhone, Marianne. <laughs> your iPhone 6 is not dying. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, though, 866-496-8772. Dale, you're next up. Something's going on with the show. Is it video lag on Facebook, Dale? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, we are aware of the technical issue, uh, and uh, we are working to resolve it. I've taken some things off the load to uh, try to free up some bandwidth. I've also talked to uh, engineers here in the studio for about the uh, possibility of getting a wired connection, so I'm not on wireless. That'll help a little bit, too. Uh, but we're going to soldier through it, and on, during the break, I'll see if I can make some adjustments to the quality of the video to increase the uh, throughput a little bit. Could Windows 10 be contributing to it, the update? Nope, not at all. This is a, this is straight up bandwidth on our end here. Um, yeah, we had 26 people jump on right away. We're sending a, a nice high quality video, and I can see it's lagging on my screen here. So sometimes it lags on my end, and I don't think it lags on the other end. But uh, basically, uh, we'll, we'll deal with it. But no, it's not Windows 10. It's not your computer. It's a it's a transmission issue. But we're uh, we're working through it. Okay, the order of speed is that the telephone I'm talking to you is running first, then the radio is running second, and the video is running third. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that they, they have to put me on a on a delay here at KFAB and on uh, KFOR and Lincoln because if I say the wrong thing, you know they they have to be able to they have to be able to bleep me. And you know I I have done some I like to toy with them a little bit. You know, I'll be, oh, son of a biscuit, you know stuff like that. Yeah. And then they're they're like, <gasps> and then they now they don't react at all. So if I actually do slip now, like. Then they start scrambling, but they have a few seconds to hit the button, and then the Facebook delay is just Facebook being slow. Um, so so you're cursed with the Freudian slip too, huh? Oh, oh, absolutely. I've, I, you know, I've, I, I've had one live mic scenario in uh, the uh, what 16, 17 years I've done the show, and I've learned very carefully to look at the microphone lights because the worst part is when you realize your mic is on and you don't think it's on during a commercial break, and you turn it off real quick. Because, you know, these are people's commercials that they're paying to air. You shouldn't be talking over them. And then... Oh, you're pro pulling Obama, too. And then the second thing is you're like, uh, what did I say? Did I say anything that was bad? Oh, golly. We all do that. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the call, Dale. We'll get on the video thing. It should be streaming up a little bit uh, a little bit better. You know, ironically enough, I disabled my antivirus and firewall, and that uh, that caused the throughput to increase. So, uh, yep. not Don't do this at home, kids. But in, for, for the sake of the, the viewing quality of Compute This, we'll, we'll go for an hour without any, any – uh, I don't do – I'm not going to be doing anything serious on my computer. I'm not going to be like, you know, going online and like Googling stuff and things. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be fine. If, if it breaks, I have some guys I know that can fix it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call there. 866-496-8772. We're going to take our first break of the program. Coming up next, Microsoft quietly ends – the or announces the end of the Windows 10 free upgrade offer. If you haven't done a free upgrade, if you want to do it, you probably should get on that pretty quick. Uh, first impressions of the iPhone X and uh, how you can infect your computer through a simple Google search if you do something stupid like, you know, turn off your uh, your antivirus protection for some silly reason that made complete sense at the time you did it, but it resulted in you getting infected. We're going to tell you all about that coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. 
Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock Innovations it's what we do compute this pro tip number 753 have you ever wondered how the bad guys always seem to find a way into your computer? Gone are the good old days of email worms and I love you viruses. Nobody wants to steal your data anymore, or in many cases even, your identity. Today's cyber criminals want to sell access to your computer or hold your data for ransom. The bad guys are exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities to break into systems that are supposed to be hack-proof. These vulnerabilities are always newly discovered, and the criminals have a brief time to exploit them before they get patched. Antivirus and firewalls do not prevent these attacks, but you can minimize your computer's exposure by installing all security patches as quickly as possible. The average computer needs 12 patches a week. That's not including the ones that are automatically delivered to your computer. Boost your cybersecurity by staying on top of it manually or use a patch installation program like Secure Updater to get your computer the patches it needs. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, welcome back into Compute This. Nothing like being on the radio and being able to look at your phone and see that oh, your, your old graphics card that you just upgraded and your computer is getting bids on eBay. Got to, First world problems, got to love it. 866-496-8772 is the number to join us on the program. All right, so uh, I mentioned earlier in the show that we had a uh, – company culture is a weird thing. And uh, on the, in, the company intranet, I, I noticed this week that there was a meme circulating. And, you know, when you own the company and you work with a bunch of millennials, you kind of – you worry a little bit about memes because usually they're about you. <laughs> As the boss, you know, the old boss guy, you know, oh, great. Uh, but this one actually was was pretty – it's an older meme, but it had been repurposed for uh, for the 2017 holiday special. You can check it out on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rockinnovations. Apparently, you can't add a picture to a uh, – um, a live broadcast as a comment, so who knew? So I added it as a photo to our Facebook page. But uh, but it, it sums things up pretty well. I won't describe it on the air for obvious reasons when you see it, but uh, but it's pretty cool over there at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. 866-496-8772 is the number to join us on the program. And as others have before us, ask a question or make a comment. We'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. All right, so if you are planning on doing a Windows 10 upgrade to your computer... Uh, you might remember a while back, you know, we told you, hey, it's going to happen automatically. And people freaked out. It's not going to. Microsoft says they won't do it automatically. Technically speaking, Microsoft did not automatically update anyone's computer. But technically speaking, when you got a box that popped up on your screen and it said press cancel to upgrade now or OK to wait. And you said, I want to upgrade. Cancel. Did they not just trick you into automatically updating to Windows 10? And you see, a lot of you a lot of you got caught by that. A lot of you came into the service center and had us do your upgrade with that. Some of you are still running Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. For I don't, Windows 8.1 is like the red-headed stepchild of Windows operating systems. It, it's like Son of Vista on Halloween, you know? <laughs> Why would you run that? Uh, but some people like it, I guess. So yeah, if you're still running one of those older operating systems and you th were thinking about doing Windows 10 – but you haven't done it yet, your time is running out. Now, most people who are running those older ones, like 7 or 8.1, they're not going to go to 10. They don't want 10. They're going to eventually have to go to 10, but they don't want it. They're going to put it off because some of them have valid reasons. They have software that's not going to be compatible, for example, or hardware that's not compatible, or their computer may not be able to run Windows 10. 
as I mentioned, there are a lot of hardware uh, changes that have come this year that have really pushed the boundaries forward of what operating systems can do. And Windows, the, Microsoft saw this coming, and that's one of the reasons they made Windows 10 was because there are so many crazy things. Like some of the stories that didn't make the cut this week. There is a – okay, you all are familiar with stainless steel, right? Stainless steel. You make silverware out of it, right? You can make the back of watches out of it. It doesn't irritate your skin. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do with stainless steel. But it turns out if you attempt to 3D print stainless steel, which, yes, you can do, that's where you have a machine that puts, like, stainless steel powder in a line, and they hit it with a laser that instantly melts it and solidifies it, and they put another line of powder on top, and they hit that with a laser and another line of powder, and the lines are, like, a millimeter thick, the tiniest little layers. And if you keep doing millimeters, if you do that 10 times – now. Uh, this is metric, guys. Remember in the 50s when they said someday we're all going to be on metric? <laughs> yeah, it ain't happened yet. My dad tells me, they're telling me that in school. You don't tell that to your kid when they're in math class complaining about having to learn the metric system because you're just fueling that I'm never going to use this thing, you know? But uh, no, sure enough, if you do 10 millimeters, you get a centimeter. That's about the width of your pinky nail. Unless you're a big Nebraska farm guy, then it's like half the width of your pinky finger. Um, but basically, I mean, that you can get eventually quite a bit built up. And they found out that there is a, a way that they can do this with a 3D printer that actually makes the stainless steel stronger than the way it's made now. So you could actually stainless 3D print stainless steel. Now, you can't do that at home yet. Um, just like, you know, remember late in the 90s? I remember, um, golly, this is going to date me a little bit. But um, when I was in junior high school in the very early 90s, well, yeah, maybe late 80s, early 90s, uh, it was really cool because we had this big box you could put on the counter and it shot a laser beam and you puff like baby powder in front of it and you could see the laser going through the air. And that was like the cutting edge of science when I was in school. Now you can get a laser pointer that shoots across, that blinds airline pilots from the ground and you can hold it in your hand, okay? That... The world is radically different than it was 25 years ago, radically different. And so when Microsoft is, is telling people, you want to go to Windows 10, it's because the technology that's coming, you're going to miss the boat for a lot of things. And some of you are totally okay. You're like, that boat's the Titanic? If I miss it, hey, hey, hey. sorry to be you, buddy, but uh, I'm here on the Windows 7 skiffer, and I'm doing just fine on the choppy ocean. Um, and you you will do just fine until 2020, and then you'll have to your your boat's going to sink. But and before then, until 2020, you can party on. Uh, so Microsoft's announcing the end of the free Windows 10 upgrade offer. It's going to end on December 31st. So if you were going to do this, uh, what you want to do is you can Google Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, and you can actually create your own installation file for Windows 10. Or, of course, you can bring it into the service center, and we'll do it for you for an hour of labor. Uh, we'll upgrade you to Windows 10. Now, some people have said their computer is not Windows 10 compatible. They, they, it doesn't do what they need it to do. It can't do it. If that's the case, if your computer is not Windows 10 compatible, especially if it is a Dell, it's not that your computer is, is failing to be Windows 10 compatible. It could be that your computer requires a BIOS update. It requires an update to make it Windows 10 compatible, an update that's widely available, that's been available for a long time. So if you just if your computer just popped up and told you it couldn't run Windows 10 and you just took its word for it, I'm here to tell you that may not be the case. You may want to bring it into the shop so we can take a look at it and make sure for you. So uh, there you go. If you want to run Windows 10, now is the time to do it. As we do every week, these stories will all be posted throughout the week on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. So if you missed out the details, you want to hear about it or read about it some more later, you can always check it out there. 866-496-8772. Got to take our bottom of the hour break. Cece and Bill, hang on the line there. Especially, Bill, I appreciate you calling in, and we'll get to your calls coming up next on Compute This. Now you can configure and purchase laptops, desktops, tablets, and more, all at the new Shrockinnovations.com. Check out our specials for one-of-a-kind discounts and deals. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new Shrockinnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, 
Find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new Innovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. Compute this pro tip number 187. Recently, you may have received a phone call from someone claiming to be from Microsoft or had a message pop up on your screen telling you that your computer was infected. Do not respond to these calls or messages. They're always a scam. Microsoft will never call you about your computer. Here's how the scam actually shakes out. You get the phone call that your computer's infected. The scammers hit you with some mumbo jumbo about an infected IP address. They'll ask your permission to connect and help you fix it. Once they're in your computer, they do a bunch of fake scans that detect a lot of problems that really aren't there. You see the scan results and figure, yeah, your computer's in trouble. Next, the scammers will demand up to $400 to clean up the computer and set you up with a lifetime protection. Don't fall for the scam. Keep good security software installed, like Endpoint and Secure Updater, so when things like this do happen, you know you are covered. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. President Trump's five-nation visit to Asia has begun. He has hit the ground running here in Tokyo. In fact, he made it abundantly clear in his comments not long ago to American service personnel that the United States is prepared to act if necessary, not just to pr uh, protect the homeland, but also our friends abroad. No one, no dictator, no regime, and no nation should underestimate ever American Resolve. Fox's Kevin Cork reporting from Tokyo. The president will also travel to South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. While the boss is away, the vice president's here at home trying to sell the GOP tax plan to the people. The president very much wants to see this tax cut focused on middle class Americans. Mike Pence on Fox's Sunday Morning Futures. Fox News, we report, you decide. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Today we'll have winds out of the northwest that can gust up to 30 miles per hour at times. Otherwise, we'll make it up to 46 degrees and those clouds should clear out of the area by the afternoon. Tonight we could see a few increasing clouds. Temperatures will fall off to 31 degrees. Tomorrow, slight chance for a few flurries to develop mainly for those counties to the north. The metro will get a high of 45 degrees. With Omaha's most accurate weather team, I'm 6 News Meteorologist Peter Sherwood on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All right, welcome back in. We are rolling on on Compute This. You see, I take calls at the start of the program when I got calls. You know, I don't just rattle on through the stories. You know, I have lots of stories. I have, like, the good stories that I talk about that I kind of tease a little bit. And then I've got the B-rate stories that I'm like, oh, boy, if we have no calls, I'm going to have to talk about, like, this week in security news. It looks like Chase Bank had some kind of a security breach. Apparently a bad, you know, and it's like, come on, what is this, you know, like the farm news? <laughs> 866-496-8772. Not there's anything wrong with the farm news. I remember listening to the farm news with Grandma and Grandpa. There are good memories there. All right. Bill, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Good morning, Thor. Good morning. I was calling about I was calling about my 2017 uh, holiday special desktop. Well, Bill, now, did you have the laptop or the desktop, Bill? I've got the desktop. Okay, the desktop. So now I want to preface this by saying – uh, Bill has made a couple comments to me about about good things about it. I haven't heard anything bad yet. I asked Bill to call in because I wanted to get his opinion on air so everyone else can hear it too because it's one thing to hear me talk about it. It's another thing to have Bill call in and give us his unvarnished opinion. So, Bill, give me the good, bad, and the ugly. All right. Well, I'm very happy with the speed, boot up time, things like that. It is a very quick machine. Uh Fancy tower. I really like the looks of the machine. I like the looks of the Acer uh, monitor. Everything has been wonderful at this point in time. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm getting up there in years, so 
clarity of video and stuff doesn't always ring through to me in my poor old aging eyes. <laughs> but I really, lo- I really like the dual monitors. So uh, the support for that second screen is is something I really like. It gives me a chance to spread things out, have lots of windows open, and see everything at the same time. Yeah, once you go so, two monitors, you can't go back. In fact, I went to that's three. Exactly right. And I'm like, can I? My, exactly the only reason right. I don't have four is my desk is run out of room. <laughs> yeah, now I'm sitting here thinking, geez, I should go out and buy a bigger monitor. Well, and so, well, that was a 24, Bill. My goodness, you're going to get a TV if you go much bigger. But uh, that and that's a 2K monitor. That's the the the, the highest clarity monitor we have ever produced at Schrock. Um, so, or ever offered at Schrock, I should say. We didn't produce it. Acer makes the monitor, but it is a 2K display, which is just it's stunning. When you if you set it down like. We're going to have the holiday specials next week on display in the service center. And when you look at the holiday special desktop screen and then you look at, like, the regular desktop screens, you can completely see the difference between the two. Exactly. Well, I took the uh, 27-inch Samsung TV out of my bedroom and stuck it on as my second monitor. <laughs> oh, there you go. That that gets the quality up at least. <laughs> it's, uh, and, and the system supports it real well. It gets great quality pictures it's fast so yeah well thank you for the call bill i appreciate have you had any problems with software compatibility windows 10 issues anything like that um no the the only issue i've had so far is uh i've added a couple of uh, other users to the machine and it doesn't seem to like to run secure update for those second users so i'll talk to somebody at the shop and get that taken care of. Gotcha. And uh, I'll give you a bolo here, a be on the lookout for a new secure updater client coming your way, hopefully before the end of the year here. Uh, that will also relieve a few other small little lagging issues with secure updater. We haven't put out a brand new, like a fresh client since like 2007. Uh, so it's time for a it's time for a refresh a little bit. And the, the guys were arguing with me about the need for a user interface this time. And I'm like, I, I like the minimalist interface, like where you just right click on it and there's a menu. There's like not a big window with graphics and stuff. It's like they're like Thor. You don't understand. There's there's more options now. You, the tech, listen, old man. You know, <laughs> technology's moved since you were around. Okay. Now that we're here, we want a user interface, so you're going to give us what we want. And, you know, eventually they convince me that it's something we need, and then, you know, we go forward with it. So that will hopefully help out with well, those issues as well. You know, you want to talk technology. I'm an old computer guy. When I was getting my degree, we stood in line at school with our deck of cards waiting for the compiler. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am a bunch an old of... guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for calling in, Bill. I appreciate you giving us your opinion of the hub, the 2017 holiday special desktop that uh, next week you should see it popping up on the website. Thank you, Bill, for the call. Um, For those of you listening, if you're interested in the holiday special desktop, you should see it popping up on the schrockinnovations.com website next week. Um, uh, It's got its pictures taken. Uh, The catalogs are in production right now. We're going to have the uh, downloadable PDFs available next week, and then we're going to launch our – we usually give our existing customers like an early look. Uh, So we'll put it on the website. We'll send an email out to our existing customers with those PDF links uh, so they can take a look and get in on it before the the big rush to get into the service center to take a look at it. 866-496-8772 is the number to join us on the program today. All right, so moving forward here through these stories, Black Friday is coming, um, and Costco has a Black Friday ad, and a customer actually emailed me their Black Friday ad. And the Black Friday ad has a Dell desktop. It's got it's a seventeen hundred dollar computer. So you know the holiday special is a fourteen hundred dollar computer. Okay, this is a seventeen hundred dollar computer after six hundred dollars off plus shipping and handling. So you're going to pay some shipping on it too. But it's a desktop. It's got a seventh gen processor, which is you know. I guess comp- roughly comp- it's as close as you're going to get to what's in the holiday special. Um, it's got 64 gigabytes of memory. Now, most of you listening right now have 4, 8, 12, maybe 16 gigs of RAM in a computer. The, the software out on the market right now doesn't support things usually, except for a few, like Photoshop is one exception. doesn't support that much RAM. Um, now, the holiday special laptop and desktop can both go up to 64 gigs of RAM, however. Um, so Dell has maxed out the computer to give a nice big fat number here at 64 gigs of RAM. They give you a two terabyte hard drive with this, which I did check is a 7,200 RPM drive. So, you know, kudos for them for giving you a, a faster hard drive. 
um, and a 256 solid state in there. Six gig graphics card of a GTX 1060. You're never going to use that. But the reason they had to go with a 1060 instead of like the the 1070 or the better 1080 is because you can't buy those cards because the miners have been buying them all up. Uh, it's only valid until the 19th of November for $1,700 over at Dell. It does not come with a monitor, keyboard, mouse, any jazz like that. It is a tower only. Now, here's the thing. They also have a laptop for about the same price. It's an Ultrabook. It does not have a DVD drive. We actually evaluated this computer for the holiday special, for the holiday special laptop. Um, Dell actually gave us a free one uh, of the $2,500 configuration. So they maxed out everything and sent it to us. And when we knew that, you know, $1,499, no matter how many of them we buy, we're not going to get a $2,500 computer down to $1,499. But if you're going to offer to send me a free, completely maxed out computer, Dell, you know, and it turns out the lovely Kimberly was ready for an upgrade. She does all the catalog work for Schrock, all the pictures on the website that you see. She took all those. So uh, we, I, when you comment on how beautiful the catalog is, that's her. She did all that and does an amazing job with it. Well, she was ready. She was running a fourth gen Intel processor. She had a, uh, a holiday special laptop from a few years back. And, you know, she was she was ready for an upgrade. So we got her into this new Dell laptop. They sent it to us. She doesn't really use the DVD drive, so the loss of the DVD drive wasn't a big deal to her. Had a 4K display, which was kind of crazy and cool. You know, when you're doing photo work, that's nice. Um, but she's commented a couple times that the unit is actually slower with Photoshop than her fourth-gen Intel computer was. Now, the lovely Kimberly has issues with technology. And I'm not saying she can't use tech. What I'm saying is there's some aura about her person that causes technology to malfunction, which is completely ironic that she would marry a computer guy, right? Um, so we don't let her in the shop on the bench because she would just – everything would just – she'd walk through it. It would be like a Disney character just sweeping through and things would just fail beside her as she walks, you know? Uh, it's like a sixth sense kind of thing. So I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is just, you know, whatever. And then she says, no, watch. And she's retouching in Photoshop and she's doing like a blemish removal tool on someone's face and she clicks the mouse and it takes like two seconds. She goes, you realize how annoying that is? Every time I click the mouse, it takes two seconds to show me what I'm doing. So I can't just keep clicking. I have to wait. She goes, that never happened on my older computer before. Okay, well, that, that's not good, right? So I do some research, and it turns out Dell is cutting a few corners on these systems that they're putting up for sale. Um, and we, we knew this. This is why we didn't pick the, that particular Ultrabook laptop for the holiday special laptop, and we went with the Inspiron 15 instead. Um, Dell is using J Micron solid state drives. Those are the same solid states that HP uses. Um, they're not junk. I won't, I won't go that far. They, they're reliable, but because I do a lot of data recovery and we don't have a lot of J micron data recoveries coming in the door. On the other hand, they are not the fastest thing around. Um, they are quite, they're about 25 to 50% slower than a comparable Western digital or Samsung solid state hard drive or, or the, the same chipset that's used in the SanDisk, you know, solid states. So basically what I'm getting at is you can get a computer from Costco right now for $1,700 that looks like it's hanging with the holiday special pretty close. But under the hood, when you start looking, you're going to realize there's little little corners they cut. Now, 64 gigs of RAM is a lot of RAM, but notice they don't tell you the speed of the memory uh, because it's the slower DDR4 speed. So when we get these laptops in from Dell for the holiday special, we're using the Dell Unibody because it's a, it's a really solid. This is the lightest touchscreen laptop I've ever had. We went with the Inspiron model because we know the DVD drive is something our customers desire. It's getting harder to do. Next year, we may not be able to, but this one has a DVD drive in it. It's got a touchscreen on it, which we know a lot of our customers really don't care for the touchscreens. But it also has a bezel on the side, a plastic barrier along the edges where you can actually grab the screen and, and pitch it and adjust it and move it around so that you're not – you know, sitting here fingerprinting your screen and having things happen when you grab the edge of the screen. Uh, so that was a nice compromise. But the biggest thing is, is this is not a chip on board laptop. This is a laptop that we can crack open. We can take out the memory and we can replace the memory with faster memory. We can take out the hard drive they put in there and we can replace it with a faster hard drive. So the holiday special Dell Inspiron 15 that you get from Schrock is not the same Dell Inspiron you can get on their website for $2,000. Number one, ours is $1,499 because we sell it at cost. Number two, you're getting a lot of upgraded technology in that computer for the price you're paying for it. So uh, you'll be able to, the holiday special laptops are actually on display on all three service centers right now. You can actually come in and take a look at them right now in the service centers. Uh, we do have some in stock. We're still waiting on some solid state drives. If you tried to place an order in, they probably wouldn't stop you. Uh, but, uh, but 
it's something if you want to come in and look at it, you can. It's an amazing unit this year for the holiday special laptop as well. 866-496-8772. We're going to take our final break of the show. Mike and MJ, hang on the line. Your calls are coming up next on Compute This. Today's fragile computers need maintenance more than ever. Your computer needs a maintenance checkup every six months to last beyond its 18-month expected lifespan. Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all, so we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State Laptops are built using the same frame and main boards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result? Laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, Solid State Laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the Solid State Laptops at SchrockInnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. And now compute this pro tip number 373. Everyone knows we're supposed to back up our computers and then check those backups periodically to make sure they're working. So why don't most people do it? Lots of people have different ideas about what backing up means. Is it copying files to a flash drive? Is it using a fancy backup program? And how do you know it's working anyway? Windows makes backups easy through free software that's already on your computer. Open your control panels and click Update and Security. Select Backup and choose from all of the available options to get a regular, reliable checkup. You'll need something to back up to, like a Schrock modular storage device or some other backup hard drive. Backups usually run once a week, but you can always change the frequency. The best part is that if your backup ever fails, you'll see a notification in the lower right corner by your clock telling you something's up. Backing up your important data has never been easier. So take a moment to back up your computer today. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, and in Papillion as well. We are rebuilding, re-engineering, re-imagineering the Papillion Service Center into a meaner, leaner, multiple device repairing machine that is going to be moving from 72nd and Highway 370 to 84th and Highway 370 in Midlands Place this December. So keep in mind, when you see the big empty bay there, it's not that we went out of business. We moved because we had, we. it's a complex thing. We tried to renegotiate the lease. They said no. We said we need to change a lot of things to make this place work for phone repairs and tablet repairs. They said, good for you. And so... <laughs> And so we said, okay. So we moved. And uh, we said, if we're going to rebuild everything from scratch, let's rebuild everything from scratch, get everything shiny and new, and let's build it the way we need it to be built so that we can start doing phones and tablets and things like that this December. Uh, we have all of our tools coming in as well. Um, Jackson in the Omaha Service Center, if it tells you anything, uh, the, even the lovely Kimberly is having Schrock guys repairing her mobile devices now. Uh, she's had two iPads and an iPhone all repaired uh, by the staff at Schrock in two different service centers. Um, so the guys are getting their reps in, and they're getting their reps in on the boss's wife. So if that tells you the level of confidence that's there, <laughs> that's a good thing. So now, before we jump into the phones here and take these calls, I want to uh, share with you a story. Because one of the things that happens in business is people make mistakes, even me. Um, in fact... Um, there's a lot of systems that are in place to make a service center like Schrock's run seamlessly, reliably, and predictably. And a lot of those systems, even the small ones, when something goes wrong, that one small bad seed can reverberate through. So we got a one star. You know, I always ask you guys to make sure you review us on Google because um, it really, really helps with search engine results. Um, in other words, if we don't get Google reviews, like good Google reviews, eventually we will go out of business. I mean, it's like it's that important. Um, so it's super duper important to get good Google reviews. And we earned ourselves a big fat one star this week uh, from uh, from Jeff, a customer in uh, in Lincoln. And uh, the scenario was we went to check in his computer. He was bringing – Jeff has been a customer since 2012. We've been working on his same HP computer since 2012. He checked it in because his sound card wasn't working. And he had a really crazy-looking sound card. I mean, it was the meanest, baddest-looking sound card I've ever seen. 
Um, and so he brings it into the shop and he goes to check it in. And and it wasn't – we didn't have the B team in there. Uh, when he checked it in, this was a couple Fridays ago, it was Kevin, the operations manager, Craig, the Lincoln manager, and Chris, the Lincoln weekend manager, were the three guys running the shop that day. Um, and somehow when he checked in his computer, we had a customer check in right before him. And a cut when we checked in Jeff's computer, it checked in as Lyle's computer instead. And that has never happened in 19 years. Literally, we tried to find a way to make that mistake and we couldn't do it. Long story short, I come into Lincoln and, you know, I spent the last couple of weeks down in Lincoln pretty intensely. And I will be continuing to spend some additional time down there because we're training a new front desk and it's important that we get reps and, you know, we build this corporate culture up right. You know what I mean? And so I'm down there. And I'm like, guys, 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 little things, little details are slipping. Like, what is this computer with no paperwork doing in the pickup area? There's no paperwork for it. So I pick up this poor big red HP and I put it up on the bench and I open up, I type in its shock tag number, and I look it up, and it says, well, the last time we looked at this was 2016. It was diagnosed with a bad hard drive, and the customer declined repairs. It looks like this has been recycled, guys. Why has this been in here since October of 2016? How did this stay in here a year without anyone noticing it? And everyone just looked at me like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and recycle it. Since it's been here for a year, pretty safe to say the customer doesn't want it back. You know, we hold things for 30 days, and if they get abandoned more than 30 days, we just recycle them. So a year and a month, time to recycle. So we went through to recycle it. I uh, pulled the hard drives out. You know, we always zero the hard drives when we recycle your computers. We don't charge for that, but we make sure your data doesn't go out. So I put his hard drives in the data recovery room, and I set them to zeroing to the point where not even I could get the data back. I thought it was a little odd that both hard drives tested at 100% health, but I thought, well, maybe he had like a solid state hard drive in there because these were really big, slow hard drives. Maybe he had a solid state or something in there, whatever. You know, there, maybe there was another hard drive that was bad. Uh, you know, he had 12 gigs of the older, really slow DDR3 RAM. Okay, you know, it's a 2012 computer. It was a big, bad computer at the time. Not so much anymore. So I can see why it got recycled. You know, it's you know, old, five, six, seven-year-old computer. Um, so anyway, long story short... Jeff comes in a couple days later looking for his computer because he hasn't heard anything. And Kathy just looks up and she's like, oh, shoot. Except it, it was something about a show. Uh, yeah, it was, it was bad. And uh, I, got, I got an email with that, that word as the subject line. <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh. Uh, and so we look, and sure enough, this computer was Jeff's and was not supposed to be recycled. He brought it in for a sound card issue, something that could have easily been resolved in an hour and put right back out the door. And because the system failed, I, me, no one else, I recycled his computer. I destroyed his data. I wiped everything. So, okay, well, this is bad, right? Well, let's see. Let's start the process. It is what it is. Let's make it as better as we can make it. So let's go back to the recycles where we have the, we keep the recycles in the shop and bring it out of recycle. Uh, the sound card, as I mentioned, was really, really crazy. I pulled it out and showed it to the guys. And so I happened to have set the sound card aside because I was showing it to Craig. Like, look at this crazy sound card. And I didn't put it in the recycle pile, thank heavens, because it's a special sound card. Um, and... Basically, everything else went into the recycle pile, except for the hard drives, of course, which were being zeroed in the other room to protect his data. It was a four terabyte and a three terabyte. That takes a long time to zero. So I left him in there you know, for overnight. Then the next day, you know, they finished and nobody pulled him out. So I have his hard drives and his sound card. And then the recycle guy had come the day before and taken everything else. So we call the recycle guy. We're like, stop. Bring it back. And he's like, I already dropped it off in the Omaha Recycling Company. Oh, shoot. Drive all the way to Omaha. Oh, hey, all, all that stuff gets trucked down to Lincoln. you got to be kidding me. I just drove from Lincoln. Get back in the car. Call Chris. Chris, go to the recycle place in Lincoln. Go there. They say they have it. They can pull it out. And I'm thinking at this point, it's probably pointless because it hasn't been treated with any kind of kindness. It's a recycle. So they've probably been chucking it overhand, you know, wherever it's going. Uh, but we're going to try. So Chris goes there, picks through all the pallets of computers, can't find it. Oh, boy. So I call Jeff because, you know, you got to call Jeff. <laughs> uh, the night before I had to call Jeff, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, and I couldn't get back to sleep. I was that – guys, I internalize this stuff. Like when, when Schrock fails, I fail. Um, and it's – and you're not supposed to do that. It's bad, you know, whatever. Oh, boy. So I called Jeff, and uh, the, best, the best words that I could use to describe his reaction was quiet rage. Um, I thanked him for not yelling at me. I, I genuinely, I said, thank you for not screaming at me. Cause in your position, if I was in your position, I would be irate. And it was, oh yes, I'm irate. And I was like, 
okay. But you're going to do what we can do to make it right. So obviously I owe Jeff a computer. So we built him uh, a modified Venture. Uh, it's got a solid-state hard drive. It's got 16 gigs of the high-speed DDR4 memory, just like the Holiday Special does. It's got the same processor type that the Holiday Special does. It's got, uh, you know, we, we, we put his two hard drives back in. They're blank, obviously, but thank the Lord he had a backup. Um, so we're going to restore his backup for him. But I'm like, I'm not going to build this big, bad machine and put two slow, giant hard drives in it. Let's put a let's give him a 128 solid state to put the operating system on. Then he can put all of his stuff on the slower drives. And so, okay, that'll make the computer super fast. Um, so it's a it's a massive epic upgrade. He had Microsoft Office, but he doesn't have the codes anymore. So I'm buying him a new copy of Microsoft Office. And I know full well that none of this makes this right. Like this doesn't make it better. It makes it as better as I can make it. But one of the things about Schrock is I'm very quick to praise my guys, and I'm very quick. Maybe too quick sometimes to brag about the work that we do and the way that we do it and how we're really good at what we do. Well, we make mistakes sometimes. And this was one the first time in 19 years that I've ever lost a computer at any of my service centers. And I was the one who did it. Now, granted, there were other failures in the process. It didn't get a work order. It, somebody fixed his sound card, put it, noticed it had the wrong customer's information on it, put it on the floor, but didn't fix it. And if, you know, if, if we would have checked it in right, this wouldn't have happened. If that employee would have fixed it, it wouldn't have happened. If I would have held the hard drives for 30 days like was our normal standard operating procedure, at least we wouldn't have wiped his data. But I thought it had been there for a year and a month. So if I would have followed that procedure, it wouldn't have happened. So there were failures all along the way in the process that led to Jeff's computer getting completely recycled. So when you read his Google review about us completely destroying his computer – it's not a. It's not like a. You know, we we literally destroyed it. We literally crushed it. Um, and I, I say that I, I laugh a little when I say it because I, I ugh, it makes me cringe a little. But I want to be forward with you guys and tell you that you know we're not perfect. We make mistakes too. And so when a mistake is made, we own it though. That's the difference between us and some other companies. We don't try to sh you know brush it under the rug. We're going to do as best as we can by Jeff to make it right. We're going to restore his data. We're going to reinstall his games from his Steam account. The whole bit. Um, we're going to do what we can do. But it's not perfect. So, Jeff, I want to publicly apologize to you for accidentally recycling your computer. I want to tell you that uh, this was a terrible, terrible mistake, and it's not going to happen again. Um, all right. So, anyway, uh, real quick, I think we have time for one more call. Mike, welcome to the program. Let's take his call real quick on Computer. You have an iPhone question. Yes. Uh, I have an iPhone 6 Plus I bought from my wife less than a year ago. Okay. On the lookout, it says that, my, that it's out of date. That I need to upgrade to 11.0.3. Yep, is that just came okay? out. Is it okay to do that? Yep, it's good to go. It just came out, and it, it's apparently by all by everything I've seen, it's pretty stable. Okay, thank you. Hey, no sweat, Mike. Thanks for the call. All right, uh, that got Mike. We, MJ, I'm sorry, we don't have time to get to your call. There was no audio on streaming. I'm not sure why we don't have audio, but... Nobody else has said anything about the audio, so I'm guessing you got to turn your volume up. Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, I apologize we didn't get quite to you there. You can shoot me an email, mjthor, T-H-O-R, at schrockinnovations.com. Need to draw a winner of the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Today's winner is Jonathan. Congratulations, Jonathan. You've got yourself a $25 Schrock gift certificate. Um, Christine will get a hold of you from the Lincoln Service Center. She was, uh, Kathy's only got a, less than a week left. Thursday will be Kathy's last day. Sad, sad stuff. But Christine is stepping up on day two. She was doing uh, endpoint stuff and all kinds of craziness. Um, I'm going to put all the stories that we talked about on the program today up on the Facebook page at facebook.com slash rock innovations. Also, we'll be on the Omaha Morning Blend KMTV Channel 3 tomorrow right around 930. Don't miss that. And we'll have some interesting stuff to talk about there as well. Until next week, guys, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for the Aftershock at Facebook.com slash Shrock Innovations. And we'll talk to you again next Sunday for another exciting edition of Compute This. Nebraska's news, weather, and traffic station. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha, an iHeart radio station on demand at KFAB.com. Day one done in April. Into the aftershock. So, a funny thing happened to me while I was streaming today. My laptop just decided all of a sudden to start mining. Yeah, it was mining coins. <laughs> And I'm like, what are you doing? And the stream is like, as the, 
like I put my hand on the table and it was like hot. Like my hand was like, ow, that's hot. And I'm like, why is it so hot? And I'm like, it's mining coins. Who told that it could mine coins? I turned that off before the show started. No, I decided it was time to go mining anyway. So it, uh, it was out there trying to make money while we were on the air. Don't do that on the air computer. Um, so yeah, so basically some other Black Friday stuff out here that we didn't get to on the show. Dell does have some doorbuster Black Friday deals. $100 computer, $150 computer. Um, Costco also has uh, a few computers out. Nothing like the doorbusters for Texas here are different. They're not nearly as powerful um, as previous no, – I shouldn't say powerful. As cheap as previous computers. Um, there aren't really any really cheap – like if you're looking to get that $100, $150 computer, there's going to be some Chromebooks out there that you can grab. Um, but like the Dells that they're going to have for doorbusters – it has a 32 gig hard drive. Now, a 32 gig hard drive, most phones have more storage than that. Four gigabytes of RAM and a Celeron processor. And that one's like 200 bucks. So the, the, the bottom of the barrel computers are really, really bottom of the barrel this year. You're not going to want to go with those. Now, on the other hand, everybody else is offering really powerful computers at lower prices. So, for example, uh, some of the other stuff, Costco has $150 off. Uh, an HP Pavilion all-in-one that's got 12 gigs of RAM and a slow hard drive, um, and you're saving 150 off that. You can get that for 650 bucks. Also, uh, $200 off uh, an HP laptop uh, that's got four gigs of RAM and a Core i7 processor, and that's $700 as well. So neither one of those come anywhere close to the holiday special in spec. Um, they're a little bit cheaper, but that's kind of what you're going to see this year for Black Friday. The other thing is we talked about Amazon taking over a, uh, a bunch of uh, tablet market <clears throat> that the, uh, let's see here, that was the Google one. Here it is. Amazon gains share in declining tablet market, and the iPad is still number one. iPad is number one, but they only have 25% of the total market share for tablets. 75% of tablets are not iPads. Um, <clears throat> ironically, 40% of the tablets out there are not iPads, Samsungs, Amazons, Lenovo's or Hunwise. So that means there's some other off-brand that nobody knows about. So basically, the cool thing here is uh, Amazon is gaining, which Amazon makes the Fire tablet. So, I mean, it's not like it's the Fire. It's not like, you know, rocket science or anything great. But the big thing to note here is the tablet market is beginning to decline. What people are realizing is we've hit peak tablet. The, the, what you can do on a tablet, tablets, as we've always said, are great for consuming media. My daughter loves her iPad. She watches all of her shows on it. It's really cool. You can FaceTime on them. You can do all kinds of cool things. You can make you take pictures with them if you really want to. The camera's not that good. The worst is when you go to Disney and the guy in front of you is holding his iPad over his head to film the fireworks. And you're like, really? You're holding like, what is in essence, an 11 by an 8 by 11 sheet of paper in front of everybody else's face so they can we, we can watch the fireworks show on your iPad screen. And the camera is not a nighttime camera. It can't take video at night anyway. You're getting junk video. Ugh. So that's really annoying. But we've reached peak tablet where the tablets aren't really getting any more capabilities. You still can't create on a tablet like you can on a computer. And as people realize, people originally thought, well, I consume a lot more than I create, which is true. Most people will use tablets for online banking and email and things like that. But what would you take a picture and you want to send it to somebody? How do you get it into the tablet? How do you do all these different things that you've never even had to thought of, you've never thought about before? Um, so tablets are starting to come down as the laptops are getting lighter. People are going to the ultrabooks and the convertibles, and there's fewer tablets selling. Phone screens are getting bigger. The, the, the introduction of the phablet. I uh, just got my uh, Note 8 ordered the other day, so I'll be getting my giant Note 8 phone, which is bigger than my Samsung S7 phone. But uh, but nevertheless, I mean, the phablet phones, it's a cross between a phone and a tablet. I mean, you don't need a tablet if you can carry just a phone, right? And the tablets can't really work as phones because you're not going to hold this big thing up against your head and press your face against it. So I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about the tablets, you know? Uh, this is, by the way, your opportunity. You can post a question to Facebook, uh, and I'll do my best here to answer it. Uh, Kevin's asking if we're going to be at the Best of Omaha show today. Kevin, this year we will not be at the Best of Omaha festival. Uh, this year we're skipping it. We just had too much going on between, uh, I don't know, I haven't talked about this on the air, but, uh, you know, Mark uh, had a medical condition a while back and uh, he had a, uh, 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 that's the right word for it, 
Uh, anyway, he came back and he had to go in for surgery again. Uh, and so we were, were down a person at Schrock Interactive. Uh, Kathy put in her notice in Lincoln. Kathy usually worked the best of Omaha with us. She's one of the key people for that. Uh, so we're replacing Kathy and training up a trainee there. As I mentioned, I'm going on vacation in about uh, 19 days. So there's that wonderful time before vacation where you work your tail off to make sure everything's okay for when you're on vacation. We have the holiday special catalog going out. So we will not actually be at the Best of Omaha Festival today. It was just too much to get done in a short period of time. Uh, let's see. Thomas asks, got a question. My work computer still has a vast and C cleaner on it. The IT company we outsource to says it's the best protection available. See, being that we deal with sensitive personal information every day, how bad should I freak out? Okay, well, we can document some stuff. A vast is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick by a long shot. It's also by no means the best. In fact, if you want to, uh, let me see, I'm going to try to find this image real quick under our photos. If you go to our, on our Facebook page, if you click on photos, uh, that's videos, photos you will see, so you click see all to go back and see the older photos. Uh, you're going to see a picture of a vast, I believe it's a vast, I don't, I don't want to say it if it's not. I'm going to scroll back. There it is. Okay, so it's a picture of a vast. I'm going to see. Okay, so it's a picture of a computer that's running a super anti-spyware scam. It's running a malware byte scam. It's found 2,387 issues with super anti-spyware, 15 infections with malware bytes, and while it was scanning, a vast popped up and said, you are protected. So that picture, if you want to show that picture to your IT guys, that's, uh, that, that says it all. Um, I, if you're dealing with really sensitive personal information, a VAT, you should not be using a free antivirus product. Um, you just really shouldn't. Now, as far as CCleaner goes, CCleaner has absolutely zero security applications whatsoever. CCleaner simply cleans up junk garbage off your hard drive. That's all it does. Um, so ideally, in this situation, I would want to see you with Semantic Endpoint and Secure Updater. Secure Updater keeps your third-party software up to date. Semantic Endpoint keeps your is your antivirus and your firewall that keeps your computer safe and protected. Those two things need to be working together to keep your computer working like it should be. Um, so yeah, I'd be freaking out a little bit, but I would get that secured pretty quick, Thomas. All right. Oh, by the way, you can buy the semantic endpoint from our website. If you need something you need to do right away, you can go to schrockinnovations.com. You can buy endpoint from our website. It's a per computer installation, but it's nice because it's a managed service. So if you ever get an intrusion or something that does get through, we remove the infection for free. So it's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right. Marianne. Sorry, my voice is starting to go at the end of the show every week, guys. I think I have a little bit of a cold coming on, too. <clears throat> Marianne writes, my iPhone screen froze up for a few minutes last week. It is my is my 6 soon to be a worthless brick. I love my 6. You know, my wife's iPhone 6 is having issues, too, all of a sudden. That's all these uh, 11, 0, 1, 2, 3 updates that came out. Um, and basically, we thought her digitizer was bad because when she was typing on the screen, it was hitting the wrong letter. So we had Jackson in the Omaha Service Center replace her digitizer, and it worked good for like five minutes, and then it started doing the same thing all over again. And so she's backing it up to do a hard reset. That's Apple's solution to figure that, to fix that. And if that doesn't work, then at that point, you, you might be looking at a new phone. But like her 6 Plus is not even a year old yet, so it should, it should still have some warranty on it. Uh, so basically, we may end up getting it worked on or looked at or something, but we're going to try the hard restore first because that's exactly what Apple's going to do. All right, is your maintenance checkup, <clears throat> excuse me, special coming up anytime soon? Uh, Judy, the last one we did was September. We try to space them out about every six months because you're supposed to have one about every six months. Uh, so the next one will be coming up in the spring. Uh, in the winter time here, we're doing uh, all holiday special all the time, probably for the next uh, month and a half here. Uh, we're going to see, oh, it's your seven. I'm sorry, Kimberly. It's your, it's your seven, not a six. So the six is not a piece of junk, but my son, uh, my, my niece has a six, and she just got it. She's thrilled with it. So if it's good enough for a 12-year-old girl, I think you, you'll be able to handle it just fine. Uh, but nevertheless, there the uh, the maintenance special will probably be coming up in the spring again, as we usually do the next one. Um, so if you're having issues with the computer, a lot of people wait till they're having trouble to get maintenance checkups, and that's kind of like waiting to go get your teeth cleaned at the dentist until you have a cavity. 
Um, the, the cleaning hurts a lot more when you have a cavity, and then you get the drill. Whereas if you would have come in for the cleaning earlier, you wouldn't get the drill and you'd have a lot less pain. Uh, so it, it's kind of like that with a preventative maintenance check. I would encourage you to get it in if it's been more than six months. We recommend one maintenance checkup every six months to keep everything running fine and to detect any problems that are going on with the computer. No problem, Marianne. This is, this is what we do. All right. So last call for questions, guys. If you have a question, now is the time to post it because there's like a 12 or 20 second time delay for me saying that to you actually posting a question. So I'm going to put this up. You can post it and then uh, you see what you can see there. What else do we have here? Did we not get to? Oh, Google search results poisoned by banking software Trojans. <clears throat> What's going on here is when you do a Google search, two of the 10 results you get are almost always infection websites. Sometimes the websites know they're infecting computers and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're compromised. There was a big WordPress uh, SQL injection vulnerability that was announced last week. And as a result, you know, WordPress websites can be completely taken over by bad guys, which is why people with Schrock Interactive, you ask us why we do these security updates for you, this is why. So now everybody got a security update over at Schrock Interactive so that you're protected against it. Well, not everybody is as good at updating their websites. So some of these guys get into the websites and these banking Trojans are designed to steal your online banking and, and your, uh, your retirement account passwords and things like that. Um, so basically a lot of times they can't get money to transfer out of your account, but if they take a bunch of retirement account passwords, for example, that are day trading, they can actually move the stock market. They can tell everybody to liquidate a whole bunch of something. They short that and then everybody liquidates it. And they make a bunch of money. And they tell everybody to go buy that and they long that and then every, they make money there too. So it's, it's something where you definitely want to make sure you've got good antivirus software on your computer uh, because Semantic Endpoint will catch these websites when you go to them. It'll actually stop them from infecting your computer. The way they do this is you go to the infection website and then it redirects you several times. So it goes to this site, to this site, to this site, to this site, and each site you try attempts to hit your computer with a different vulnerability. This is where Secure Updater comes into play. These vulnerabilities are exist in the third party software like Adobe Reader. The end destination for this one was actually a Word document that had macros enabled. That's something that if you have Office 16, that would prevent that from happening. Also, if you have Semantic Endpoint, it would protect you from that as well. So it's one of those things you got to watch. We'll put that up on the Facebook page if you want to read all the, the details about that story as well. <laughs> a Thorblet? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a combination of human and a tablet. I'm a Thorblet, Keith says. That, that, I like that. That's funny. All right. All right. Well, thank you for, for joining us, Mary I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's good that you're not at work and that you're at home. That extra hour seems to help everybody out a little bit. And this is what's weird. Like, I got some people, I spent a lot of time in Lincoln, and they're all like, well, when are you going to stop running repeat radio shows in Lincoln? And I'm like, well, the show li airs live on KFAB in Omaha Sunday morning at 7, and then every station that gets it after that is a re-air. And so Lincoln gets it on the following Saturday. So it's really hard. I have to be careful on the air. I can't talk about how – Terrible it was at the Huskers loss because they might win next week. Okay. I could talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk about the time change, how everybody got an extra hour of sleep. So because that would be, uh, you know, who knows, next week you might not get an extra hour of sleep. I might confuse people. I had some people tell me that when I was talking about the safe upgrade and I said it's coming on the 17th because they heard the show after October 17th, they thought it was coming November 17th. Like, oh, golly, No. So, uh, so basically, all that stuff came together. I try to do a good job of keeping it clean. But uh, if you're watching us from somewhere else, the show airs live Sunday mornings at 7 on 1110 KFAB. You can watch it on Facebook. You can call into the show as well. You can also listen on iHeartRadio. If you search for 1110 KFAB, you'll find us there. And we air on iHeartRadio Sunday mornings at 7 as well. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for the program today. I really appreciate you sharing the, the stream with your friends. It really helps us gain more listeners and spread the word and help more people out. Also, uh, as I mentioned, we did earn ourselves a big, fat, one-star review this week. Not proud of that. Uh, but if anybody out there has the sudden urge to give us a five-star review, you'll help me sleep better tonight. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you have the time to do it. If we've done good for you, if you enjoy the program, if we've helped you out, um, please give us a hand. Help us out as well. Uh, those Google the